First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. So Justin, you kind of brought up this topic to us um, in our chat. And so kind of what are you hearing about this whole um, the third stage RP, you know, is it viable in qualifications? Is it too hard? Uh, what, are, what are your thoughts on it? So I think everyone kind of has to decide for themselves how they view the ranking point system. Like two RPs for a win. Okay, you did your job. You won your match. I think that should be like the basis of like if you go undefeated, you win all your matches, you did great. It's the extra additional ranking points that are like challenging teams and challenging alliances to do well. You come out of a match with three ranking points. Wow, you excelled. Like, that was incredible. Great job. You got three ranking points. You know, you got a half win, you know, essentially a win and a half out of one match. That's great. Four RPs, like, you dominated. Everything went perfectly. You got a little bit of lucky mm -hmm. with the match algorithm. Everything really worked out. I think that's how it should be. I don't think it should be, like, four RPs should not be the standard. The worst thing you can do, I think, and I think first has had games like this, I don't think it should be you get four RPs, anything less than four RPs feels like a loss. Like, a win should still feel like a win. And in a lot of years, because 4RPs was so common or 3RPs was so common, it was getting to be that 2RPs really felt like a loss. So I think this this game does a little bit better job of bringing the 2RPs back into the fold a little bit. You win your match, you still feel good. Anything after that, um, you know, is a little gravy. Yeah, I totally agree with that. It, it's always bizarre to, to, like, come off of the field and it's like you won, but you dropped in rank and... yeah. Yep. It's it's super confusing too for like rookies and like new team members who are like, why aren't we happy? Wait, it's like, uh, we won, but we didn't win. So, yeah, I'm really interested to see how it progresses. Like, there was very, mm -hmm. in like 2017, there were, you know, the four RPs for the fuel. That was super uncommon early, even for like some high level teams. But it did actually get more and more, you know, common ish, mm -hmm. especially for rotors as well. As the match, as the, the year went on, it got more common. I think this would be. You know, I think it'll, this will follow that same path. It seems really hard right now. You remember, you remember 2016, teams were pretty much winning events, scoring the low goal, right? Like, that was that was a thing. Like, it was super hard to put one ball on the top of that tower. By the end of the season, they had to, you know, they going into the championship, they increased the level, the number of balls required to, to take down that tower because teams got so adept at it. So I think mm -hmm. this will, you know, teams will get better. Um, and I think it'll be, uh, end up being a really, you know, they really hit the sweet spot, I think, with the, DRP assignments. Yeah, I think it's definitely can be attainable, and as this as this gameplay um, progresses, like you mentioned. So this graphic that's up right now, I just took a look at the Blue Alliance statistics from last year. So the year average in qualification last year was 3.81, almost 4% of matches as an average. But as you can see, week one, two, three, like it steadily progressed as the season went on um, to the point of week seven, where we're, you know, a lot of district championships was almost 13% of, of matches saw the four, saw it was a uniform match, saw the four RPs. Um, and then you can see Houston and Detroit there as well. Um, that's an interesting correlation. Uh, that's that's a side topic between Houston and Detroit, and then um, you know one was lower and quality higher. In play. Anyways, um, but yeah, you, you can see like it um, it definitely progresses over the season. And TBA hadn't updated the two, or I mean there was the two um, the two matches from 118 and 148 where they did it um, down in Plano. Um, it still was, it's still showing zero in the Blue Alliance, but those two matches um, we saw in playoffs here. But yeah, I, I'd, I'd say I'd, I think we're all kind of in agreement that it's it's definitely a little better that it's um, harder and it's uh, a little difficult to obtain. But I think that um, I think we'll see it more for sure before this championship. Let's uh, take a short break and thank our friends over at Stryker uh, for really supporting us. Stryker has done so much uh, to help fun stay loud, live and independent. And you think, hmm, fun sold out. They can't be loud, live and independent anymore. Not true. Uh, we, Really what it comes down to is that Stryker has said, hey, you know what? We love first. You guys love first. And we just want to bring some people on board, pay them a ton of money, and support them being in first. How does that sound? And you know what? We've have vetted quite a few sponsors before. We haven't taken really any on board to this uh, magnitude that we had before. And we're very happy we have because Stryker has really come through uh, in, in being big for us and being big for first and just supporting uh, so much in the first community. So go check out. They have a Strikers Careers blog or you can check them out at careers.stryker.com uh, to learn uh, so much more about what's going on. So many positions and jobs. Uh, if you watched Infimidation, we were uh, trying to find me a marketing 
magazine job uh, over there, and there was like 60 of them available just in Michigan, and then like another 100 available worldwide. So, uh, so I might be looking soon. Who knows? Hopefully, my boss isn't watching right now. Uh, so, with that said, uh, go check out uh, careers.stryker.com uh, if you want to learn uh, about more about Striker and their just gorgeous facilities uh, that they have all the way around the world and how they will support you being first. Love them so much. Thanks a lot, Striker, uh, for allowing us to yeah. just you know do crazy ad lib ads as well too because. They're they're just chill with everything we do, and we love them for that. Thanks a lot, Striker. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna what, yeah, I was saying, what's yeah, your opinion? I I'm gonna kind of take the, the yeah, I'm gonna kind of take the other side of it because uh, everybody's talking about how it's so possible. Guess what? It hasn't happened yet, not in quals. Uh, so yeah. you know, if we look yeah. at if you look at how many matches uh, have been played, uh, you know, it, it, it's thousands of matches. I think, it, oh man, I don't remember. It's like six thousand. Somebody in chat can correct me on here, but you think about or that if last if. Year? Um, for either this year so far or last year through week two. But if you if you just do some quick mm -hmm. math, let's just say it's 6,000, and you say, okay, by week two, 1%, that's 60 matches that's happened then, right? It has happened zero matches so far uh, in, in this season. Now, I, I guess in my opinion, it, in quals, can one robot complete all this? And I don't think the answer is yes. In last mm -hmm. year, could one robot complete a rocket? Can one robot solo a rocket? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And because of that, you have to solely rely on luck of getting the right alliance partner in quals in order to accomplish this RP. And that's why I don't like mm -hmm. it. I love the, the overall general uh, concept of the game. I really like. I, I, I like the, the, the stages, that sort of thing like that. However, uh, so far it's, it has not happened and there's nothing other than pure luck at this point that's stating that it is going to happen. So, you know, there was a comment from 987 that says the fourth RP should be hard. I agree, but it should not be impossible. And right now it has oh. been impossible mm -hmm. for any teams in quals to make this happen. And that's, to me, why I, I, it, it's not the sweet number. I think if it was the playoffs and you actually got something for it in playoffs – which you don't. If you guys remember back, it was a 2016 when he used to get that fourth RP instead of that in lieu of that in playoffs to give you bonus points, right? Yep, 2017 um, as well. Yeah, yep. so why is that not back uh, for playoffs nowadays? That's where it actually makes the most yeah. amount of sense to me to do something like that. Uh, so I don't get it. It hasn't happened yet, and it's only going to happen with luck because nobody's going to be able to solo it. Maybe it happens once. Maybe it's a team like 148 or, or 254 comes through and is just able to completely solo everything themselves. Then I'll, then I'll be more for this fourth RP right now. But until that happens, it's pure luck, Christine. I mean, do you think, first I was anticipating more. I mean, are there any robots that are putting in the low in the low power port? Yeah, there are some, would, but but I think the most was do like. Do you think they would have saw more to help? Because, I mean. Maybe. They do each one counts, right? To yeah, do it so does. I, I don't know if they were putting in more going at, you know, in the lower port. But... Yeah, I think that another thing that was kind of working against them, uh, them being the GDC, was the color wheel, right? I think a lot of teams kind of looked at, um, mine included, right? We have no ability to spin the wheel. We looked at it and said, 29 balls is a little bit absurd. Um, I, I, you know, we didn't really think it was going to be super uh, common to develop a mechanism to score essentially 10 points. Just didn't seem very valuable. Um, so we taking all those, and I'm sure we're not the only team that came to that conclusion. So you take all the color wheel mechanisms out of the game. You know, we, our robot physically cannot get the RP. We can't spin the wheel. So, you know, it's, it's out of the realm of possibility for us. And then they valued climb so high that teams are, you know, at 30 seconds or sometimes mm -hmm. before 30 seconds, they're literally waiting for, you know, to make sure they get the climb because it's so, it's so important. So it's just, I, I think to Tower's point, I think you're a little bit right that if they really wanted that, the, the ranking point um, for the, the car wheel, and I forget what they call it, um, whatever control that ranking point yeah. is, yeah, the control panel, if that's what they wanted, make the control panel a little bit more valuable yes. point-wise. Yes, and, Devalue climb a little bit, and I think it, you know it would have maybe would have happened. But C control panel know. was worth twenty five, thirty points each time, especially yes. for stage two instead of ten points. I agree, makes that yep. way more valuable. Christine, any thoughts from you? No, I think you guys covered most of it, but I think I don't know. I I definitely agree that we'll see it happen more often, like as the season goes on. Like the fact that people are so solid with shooting at this point week two yeah i can only see it happening yeah. like getting 
closer to even closer to happening quicker I, I, than 2017 for sure i agree with that apart like teams are way more solid you know this year in shooting i think that's that's phenomenal yeah. to see and has made this game much more exciting very similar to 2013 yeah and i guess that was my point is it, it, the the difficulty is not that the ball the, you know the 49 balls is not the part that's going to happen it's people ignoring the point the color wheel that's going to make it not happen teams are going to mm-hmm. score 49 points mm-hmm. in, in mm-hmm. elims right so, or in qualis it's already happened they're just not gonna they're just not gonna spin the wheel that's that's what's going to be the killer mm-hmm. we'll see we will see <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching if you want more fun content be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos you can also directly help support fun by visiting our patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.